everybody. It's your boy Razor Ramon the Barber. And I'm back with another fragrance review. Yeah, man, I'm back with another fragrance review. As you can see, man, I got my, my Razor Ramon uh, laser and graph baseball bat here. You know, my favorite team the Yankees, but my brother got me a Red Sox jersey. I like it, so I'm gonna wear it. So you can obviously see the theme for uh, the fragrances that we're gonna hop into, and it is nine fragrances to wear to a baseball game. Nine fragrances to wear to a baseball game. All right, let me sit this back down so I can pick up the fragrances. All right. Currently at the shooting of this video, we sitting at 514 subscribers. So I need y'all to do your boy a favor, man. I need you to like. I need you to share. I need you to comment. And I need you to subscribe. Yeah, man. I need you to do that for your boy. So when we get to 600, we're going to worry about 700. All right, we got a few fragrances to hop into tonight, so I ain't gonna hold you up too long. But you know how we do when we do what we do when we doing what we do, and none go together better than baseball and beer. Cheers, Chico. All right, first phrase we're gonna hop into to wear to a baseball game is none other than Aqua uh, Dizio. Uh, Perfumo, Aqua, G <laughs> Aqua Digio Perfumo, and um, this is fire hydrant on that thing. Woo, man, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Uh, aromatic, marine, uh, aquatic, got a little smokiness to it, citrus, a little woody. This is a nice, nice fragrance, man, to wear to, um, a baseball game. Top notes, C notes, bergamot. Um, on the dry down, got some incense and patchouli, a little sage in there for the smoking, uh, the smokiness and the herbalness to, uh, or the earthiness, I should say, for this fragrance. I'm not gonna get into too much of a note breakdown because I don't want this fragrance, I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. But um, this is the dope fragrance, man, to wear in the high heat uh, to a baseball game. And that is Aqua Digio. Uh, Profumo. So I try to break it up into different um, categories. I got some stuff for the daytime. I got some stuff for the nighttime. Also for different reasons because it's it's hotter uh, in the south than it is uh, maybe say like out west or up north or in the Midwest at nighttime. So at nighttime in certain areas uh, in Kansas City, you might can get away with a denser fragrance than you would in Georgia at night because of uh, the heat. So, you know, I, uh, I don't know where people are watching from, but I try to mix it up to give you some um, variety. All right, next fragrance we're going to hop into is a legend, and it's none other than the original Versace Eros. Versace Eros. Vanilla, creamy, got some mint at the top, uh, some citrus, Fruity sweet, aromatic and fresh. Uh, tonka bean in the middle. Some green apple and lemon and mint green in the top. Uh, great uh, Madagascar vanilla in the dry down with some cedar and vetiver. Great, great fragrance, man, for the high heat or even at night, man, depending on where you are. And that's Versace Eros. All right, next fragrance we're gonna hop into is um, from Lacoste the L1212 line, and it's none other than Lacoste L1212, yellow, citrus, woodsy, aromatic, uh, got some fruitiness to it, a little spice to it. Um, top notes are uh, tonic water, grapefruit, and you get the spice from the pink pepper. Got some red apple and coriander in the middle, and some cypress and amber for the smoothness and vetiver in the dry down, man. Lacoste L1212, yellow all right fourth fragrance we gonna hop into is none other than a hundred dollar lemonade the oil cologne the oil cologne citrus musky lemonade I, this is lemonade on ice man this is amazing fragrance i love this for the high heat this fragrance screams summertime bergamot 
grapefruit, white must. Banger. Banger. A must have for the high heat. Your clone. All right. Fifth fragrance we're going to hop into is none other than Club de Noit. Intense for men. And this is uh, their take on Creed Aventus. I promise you, when you go to where you're going, whatever baseball game you're going to, people don't know the difference. They're going to think you have on Creed Aventus. It's up to you what you tell them. You can tell them the truth or you can uh, run game on them. Me, I always keep it a bean, bro. I got on Club the Week. It's like, oh, it smells like a vengeance. It's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Citrus fruity with some leatheriness to it. Smoky, aromatic though, man. When this thing get in the air, man, I'm telling you, the whole baseball stadium go smell you. Fresh, little musky. Top notes, got some pineapple, some lemon, some black currant and apple. Got that birch in the middle with some jasmine. And the floor notes with the rose. And amber crisp and patchouli and vanilla in the dry down, man. A dope, dope fragrance. You can wear this in the daytime or at night when you're going to a baseball game. All right. On to the sixth fragrance, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And it's none other than Kenneth Cole, Mankind Unlimited. I love this fragrance, man. This, this fragrance screams summertime. Aromatic, citrus. Got some woodsiness to it. Fresh, spicy. Kind of a, a marine type vibe, man. This, this fragrance is perfect for summertime where you're dealing with uh, water events or cookouts. Whatever the case may be. Um, so got some sage, seawater, mandarin orange up top with some juniper and cardamom in the middle and a spice from the black pepper. And in the dry down, you got cedar, atlas, and amber, man. And some sandalwood to kind of give it this creamy smoothie uh, roundness um, uh, take on the dry down. And that's Kenneth Cole, Mankind Unlimited. All right. Next phrase we're going to hop into is none other than a moth, a raw fresh. And as you can see from the bottle, it's their take on Versace, Mano Fresh. And man, this smells, man, it's a one-to-one, -one, man. I give it like 95%. <sighs> nice, man. Nice. Even the rating on perf uh, Perfumo.com is like an 8.3 out of 10. This is a nice fragrance. Woody. Fresh, fruity, aquatic with some greens in it. You got bergamot and cardamom and lemon with that star uh, fruit uh, up top. And that's the star player in this fragrance. Heart notes is pepper, sage, base notes, amber, cedar, musk, saffron, and woody notes. Man, this is a dope fragrance, especially if you down south um, for uh, baseball games in the high heat. This fragrance is going to perform immaculate. And that is a moth, a raw, fresh. All right. On to the next fragrance. It's none other than CK1 Reflection. Oh, I almost dropped it. I caught it. Boy, still got hand. Love this bottle, man. Frosted glass bottle. Fresh powdery greens. Citrus lemonade. Uh, got a, uh, got a, a not lemonade. Uh, yeah, it's kind of got a lemonade type vibe to it. Uh, uh, ice lemonade aquatic. Uh, top notes are lemon, ice, and ginger. And they, the ginger kind of gives it that little kick that hits you just right there. The twins in the opening of this fragrance is real nice. It's not as it, they take on lemon, it's, it's, it's just different. I like it. Middle notes are green tea and ice. Base notes are musk and woodsy notes. This is a nice fragrance. Nice fragrance. Oh, that ginger give it that, that 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 kick in the top, man. That ginger with that um that lemon, and that lemon is like a a a a, 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 a permanent deep lemon. Not, not not just like lemon juice. It's like it's like a lemon rind, like zest from a lemon. Mixed with that ginger, that give it that kick. This is a nice fragrance, man. Twenty dollars for hundred ml at Burlington Coat Factory, and that CK. Reflection. All right, man, we got three more fingers and we're going to be up out this thing, man. Everybody know baseball got double headers, triple headers. And sometimes you might go to a night game, man, and you might be somewhere up north or you might be somewhere out in the west where it's a lot cooler at nighttime and you can get away with this. And it's none other than Polo, 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 Horsepower, Supreme Cash 
mirror, man. And the best way I can describe this is brand new uh, S550 leather. Oh my goodness, man, this smells amazing. Smooth, man. Woodsy, ambery, powdery, a little smokiness, aromatic. This is a dope fragrance with some iris or an orris note in it. Top notes are cardamom, bergamot. Middle notes are incense and mirth, and it gives it that smoky, dense um, vibe, man. But the base notes is cashmere and orris, which kind of smooths out that mirth a little bit. And man, this just reminds me of um, Maybach, uh, S550, big boy Benz, man, leather. Smooth, nice leather, man. That Supreme Cashmere by Bolo Rap Laurent. All right, two more fragrances. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do this list without these last two fragrances, man. And one of them is from the House of Dior, and it's none other but that EDP, that Savage. You know what I'm talking about? Man, this is a beautiful fragrance. Daytime. Nighttime, right time, anytime. Pull out the big guns, Savage, man. Savage gonna get the job done. And this is the EDP, pressurized animalis. Fresh, spicy, ambery, citrus, uh, herbaceous, vanilla. This is a pleasant flavors. I love this fragrance. Top notes of bergamot, middle notes of Sichuan pepper, lavender, it got some star anise in it with some um, nutmeg and base notes on ambroxan and vanilla. And man, they gonna, you spray this, man, you gonna be smelling good for about 15 hours and you gonna light the whole stadium up. They gonna, they gonna be way in the out, outfield, like man, somebody got on Savage, bro. Cause this is just one of those fragrances, man. It works well in the high heat. It works well at nighttime. This is a dope, alluring fragrance, man. And People love the way they smell. They be like, oh, you got on Savage, don't it? Like, yes, I do. I do have on Savage. <laughs> All right, last fragrance. Last fragrance is none other than Coach for Men. Coach for Men. I love this fragrance, man. That pair note in the opening. <sighs> and this work well in high heat as well, man. Fresh, sweet, low fruity uh, citrus. Top notes are green pear, kumquat, and bergamot. Got some cardamom and geranium and coriander in the middle. The base note, hasten vetiver, suede, and amber crisp. And this, the suede just smooths out that amber crisp. And when it collide with that vetiver, man, it's just a nice, pleasant smell, man. But the opening that pear and the lemon from that bergamot, this is a nice fragrance. And it got a nice kumquat, uh, um, take to it, man. You don't see that in too many fragrances, but this will get you uh, uh, compliments in the in the daytime because it's gonna perform. It also work well in, in the evening as well, man. This is a uh, daily driver. This is a Swiss Army knife, and that's coach for man. All right, man. That's my fragrances that I will wear to a uh, a, a baseball game, man. This is an open tag, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. The whole game, Mike, Mike. Uh, House of Colossus, uh, Dedrick L. Hicks Jr., my boy Twilly Two Cent, OG, um, Trey Cent, Cheapo Depot, JP Fred, uh, uh, Gold is Smell Good, um, uh, what's my guy? What's my guy? JP, man, I know I'm leaving out somebody because I mean, I, I rock with so many people, bro. Uh, Ace Vendetta. Man, I need y'all. I would like to know what y'all will wear to a baseball game. It don't have to be this many. I just did this many because I was just like, oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. But you can grab and wear whatever you want. Uh, you can pick how many um, you want. Um, it's just up to you if you just want to do a nine-hour video. But nevertheless, man, uh, i like to hear y'all thoughts on what y'all would like to wear to a baseball game. Comment down below, man, what you what you went to a baseball game, man. Until next time, as always, appreciate you for the support. Instant transmission.